What's this? Oh, hold on. It's kind of a bit big, isn't it? Look at this new setup we've got. It's so not like I used to. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have Indoraptor. Oh, crap. I'll get him later. Our ear legends, welcome to an unboxing video. I was actually not meaning to make this today, or was hoping to, but I didn't know whether I'd actually find the stuff in store because pretty much now, whenever I go to a shop, or the shops I used to go to back in 2015 to find the Jurassic World stuff, is gone, or there's no toys there anymore. However, I did go to Smith's not too long ago and find a whole new stock of uh, dinosaur toys or Jurassic World and maybe not these these are new oh exciting in fact I don't know if I can Mattel is it okay can I can I actually make a video on this no anyway <laughs> the reason yes it is because I now have got this plastic paper to read out which says Jurassic World dino escape dinosaurs are breaking out of containment and are on the attack in this box Four more books. Oh. <laughs> You'll find the newest threat wrecking havoc on the brave campus at Camp Cretaceous. Wrecking Camp Cretaceous. Friggin', friggin', friggin' Camp Cretaceous in here. Season four. <laughs> e750. <laughs> do some crazy zoom in when I do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Scorpius Rex is causing chaos on the island. Will a wild Yaz is trapped in the lab with aggressive slashing, roaring, and chomping action. That's a lot of descriptive words. Um, the Scorpius Rex fiercely and ferociously battles any challenger. Look out for that tail strike. And then this is, this is the lovely bit of, of it. Zoom in on that. As a member of the Jurassic community, we're excited to introduce the menacing Scorpius Rex and also take down all your videos mentioning it. <laughs> Scorpius Rex, as well as Yaz, her compass, plot point, you would know that, wouldn't you? Haven't seen it. Velociraptor Blue, because there isn't any left, uh, and the Comsognathus to your collection. So, might have a lot in here. Uh, with new species and attacking skills, watch out for Dino Escape, dinosaurs heading and slashing your way. Uh, if you choose to post, please use hashtag Dino Escape, hashtag Jurassic World, and or hashtag Camp Cretaceous and tag at Mattel. It's a lot of hashtags. Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. Uh, what do I need to say? Don't use that language. My shirt's Jurassic though. This is Jurassic, I'll be fine with that, right? Right, with that out of the way, Mattel sent this to us for free. It's not sponsored. I think that's that's all the legal mumbo jumbo out the way. <laughs> and as long as you've understood that, yeah, let's carry on. So, shall we see what's inside the box? One thing I love about this is Mattel always put like um, these really nice uh, press, almost like a press kit, boxes together. Uh, so we're just going to tip down its side. <gasps> oh, I love it. It looks like the container. If you remember the scene, spoilers, uh, uh, the container. Remember those? Well, I don't want to spoil it because it's still kind of new. So those containers, eh? Those dinosaurs. Anyway, now to get it out. Hold on. I got a perfect way to do this. Hey, look what we got here then! Jurassic World come Cretaceous! Look at this box. Oh, it's gorgeous! Do you want to see a 360 of it? There you go. Wasn't that amazing? Actually, on the back it's upside down, so I don't exactly know what's going on here. Or how am I supposed to open it? You got a little Netflix original, I think. Yeah, I think it was made by DreamWorks. Um, oh, do I open it from the top? So all around here, we've got the, the glass cracking from the, the test lab or the test tube or bio cryostasis, whatever it was, the E750 was sort of kept in before the power went out and it escaped. So, oh, this is, this is gonna be really cool. Now I need to know, how do I open it? I'm gonna open it like that. Oh God, we're gonna, but, oh. It's monkey time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's a really nice box. What we got here? Oh, oh. So we're setting the scene. It's it's like it's telling a story. So at the moment, what is this? We've got jungle, and then over here we got the lab. The Yas has to go because now she feels really guilty because what you called got shreked. I think it's like that. Something did fall. Are you ready? Da -la 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 -la. Da -la -la -la. Oh my god. How big is this? We got more. Oh, we got all the little figures sort of out. It's upside down, isn't it? 
<laughs> it's like you're inside the lab now. So you go from outside the lab <laughs> to inside the lab. <laughs> so behind this door, I think you've got a little cubby hole. Well, this one was supposed to be blue and yaz, sort of tied up there, but with a little Velcro. Uh, I, however, they're here now. Call me unprofessional, but uh, yeah, co to completely missed this. There's a little drawer in here, and inside the drawer, you can hear there's something inside. I just need to get it out first. Oh, oh, there we go. It is a. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's the compass! Which way is the compass he pointing? <gasps> oh, and yeah, there, there, here's, here's the compi. Yeah, completely forgot about that. So, hey, did, did, did forget, see? Oh, oh, wait, I forgot there was a second one as well. <laughs> oh, keep them off to the side. I'll tell you what, Winnie, get a close up with those. So, what could be behind this door? Ooh. Oh, there it is! Scorpius Rex, you're still fastened in, however. Nice. Oh, wow. You got me in so much trouble. <laughs> you can't show that. Don't be ridiculous. Well, the packaging doesn't ever get enough love. What, what do you mean? The packaging did get love. I showed it. We, we saw all of it. It was great. Now we're going to see Scorpius Friggin Rex. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, do you make noises? Well, let me let me get it center. I don't know if you can see, but it's lighter around the top on that side as if it's been sort of airbrushed and it's not just like a solid black color like Indoraptor was. Um, I will get Indoraptor actually. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll show a picture of it next to Indoraptor. You can see the difference. Um, this one, look, this sculpt looks really good. So I'm guessing this will be like a slash or a bite. Oh! Ba 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 ba. The inside of that mouth. Oh, that looks so cool. I like how it's a separate plastic too. The tongue and the teeth and the bottom jaw are, are made of a different plastic. I think is it rubbery? Yeah, it is actually. This slight, it's got a little, a little bit of give on it. That's nice. There's a nice detail of the eye as well. There's no white for the eye, but there is a, there's a pupil there though. And then we've got the, <laughs> get used to this. And then we've got the tail swipe. It should be. Oh, is that the claws as well? Oh, that is the claws. It's like spinning some decks. <laughs> so is that way you can bite something and then he just rips into it on the... He's got little jazz hands. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So do we have the tail whip action or is that just something that it just does? Oh, I get it. So it's like a um, bring loaded mechanism there for the tail. That's quite nice. I like that. The oh, look. Careful of these, Whitney. You might get shrekt as well. You don't know what that means. She doesn't, know, she doesn't know what that means. Call yourself a Jurassic Park fan. I don't. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look. Let's let's compare these guys. So they're obviously like a. This is a specialized place that I assume this isn't how it normally comes. That's a lot of packaging otherwise. So we got blue for a size comparison. And I'm assuming that you can easily pick up blue. Or not. So you got articulation in the head there. That's nice. You've got, of course, you can kind of move the arms themselves, but they're on a mechanism. The legs, just like a lot with the Mattel things, they can sort of pivot left and right just to give it more of a stability. Tail has its mechanic there. So really, the only articulating part of it is the legs and the head, which you can kind of pose. And no matter which way you pose that head, it was really cool. I love the head sculpt. It actually looks way better in this form than it does in the movie. <laughs> but you can't really eat then. You can't grab Blue. Can you grab Blue's head? Yeah, sort of. And then you got Yaz! This is... My god. It's taken so long. It re we got so many friggin' Owen Grady's and... Well, that was it. It was just ma 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 basically Owen Grady's. But we actually have a Camp Cretaceous character. I like that. She's like doing a little high jump there. She's athletic, you see. She can, she can run really fast. Watch. See that? See that? See that? No, you didn't because it was that quick. Anyway, <laughs> so you've got knee articulations there. Kind of reminds me of like a doll. 
<laughs> we don't know if we can say a competitor. Don't do that. Um, so you've got... Oh, look at that. You can T-pose. Oh, Scorpius Rex doesn't know what to do. Again. You've got elbow articulations as well. You've got the head articulation. There's a ponytail articulation as well. It kind of actually does have its own pivot there. That's interesting. Shoulder, elbow, knees, pelvis. You can do all sorts of things. Because it's the same with the dinosaurs. You can sort of pivot the legs a little bit. So they're not just like stuck going like up and down. You can kind of do them a little left and right just to like get a better center of gravity. Oh, that's really nice though. It looks like an orc or something. But like a side-by-side -side comparison of an orc from Warhammer. It's like the same, <laughs> especially with the teeth. The teeth really make it. All right, so we're gonna move those two out. Let's compare Scorpius Rex size in comparison to a Baryonyx from, I think this was the first wave of Mattel toys. I think it was, oh, I don't know what they were called. Roarables, were they Roarables? I think they were Roarables. I completely forgot that Baryonyx actually had his mouth open constantly. I feel like they wouldn't do that anymore. So now to close his mouth, you click the button. <laughs> the friggin, I think it was a legacy. Spiner flipping Zorus, broken ankles. Woo! Most of the Mattel dinosaurs have like a little short, stubby tail, and yeah, I mean, I think with Scorpius Rex, it's meant to have a, st a stubby tail. Maybe they thought about that when they designed it. They were like, "Well, Mattel can do that. They they they're really good at doing short, stubby tails." <laughs> but Spinosaurus is a little bit bigger. This Scorpius Rex may be bigger than the Indoraptor that they made. The two that never got to clash against each other, friggin' T-Rex in size comparison against the Scorpius. It's actually, I think that this T-Rex is the stomping, stomping strike or stomping roar or God knows what it is. I think Indoraptor was a little bit slight and smaller, but Scorpius Rex was like the in-between from Indoraptor and Indominus Rex. And you really see that here with just the size comparison. Yes, it Oh God, I'm just like, there you go. T-Rex lost against it. And he, look, he can give him little tickles. Kuchiku, who's a Kuchiku, who's a Kuchiku? Ah, Kuchiku, ah, Kuchiku. <laughs> we'll call him the tickle monster. I want to see what it looks like in comparison to Indoraptor. So give me a second, I'll be right back. <laughs> this Indoraptor like in a bag for the longest time so it's all contorted out of shape. So there you have a side by side kind of comparison if oh god Indo what are you doing Indoraptor? Why is your leg splayed like this? Actually I thought Indoraptor would be a little bit smaller. I remember it being um quite slight and slim. No it's actually quite similar. The feet, oh dear, oh, hello. <laughs> They've definitely thought a little bit more when it comes to the, this Scorpius Rex, I feel, because with this Indoraptor, you've got a cut right above its jaw for what well, feels like no apparent reason. There's just like, I don't know, it must have been something to do with assembly, especially when it comes to the tail, you've got like little bits that are articulated and really, I mean, you could have just kept it like that. Did you did you really need to have like the Indoraptor's end tail to just move around like that? Was that? Was that a necessary? Oh, we need that. Because <laughs> it kind of just breaks it apart a little bit. With Scorpius, you ha you have like, you have this like swinging ability. So, bam! Which makes sense. Whereas with this, I think Indoraptor was sort of, it was kind of like, oh, we're going to get poseable dinosaurs. Indoraptor is going to be the most popular. Let's make it the most poseable out of the lot. Um, and it's sort of, or it's been hit with some sort of gloss varnish over the entire thing. So it's all shimmery. Whereas with the Scorpius Rex, you've got like a matte or a satin varnish, which just kind of dulls all the color down. And I don't know whether it's just my eyes, but there's definitely a gradient going from the feet to the top, or at least maybe just the top of the back has been like sprayed a darker uh, gray or maybe even a black along the top there. Um, you've got some bits as well. You got, I think on the bottom, you've got like some airbrushing there effect with the chest. And then of course you've got the voice box and that was just sort of, that, that's just a different kind of color in itself. This thing, <laughs> whatever you want to call that. <laughs> his, his, his voice box, yes. Um, it's, it's like a different kind of color. So, but they, I think they did a good job. They tried to like get it to match the same color. Um, oh, and you've got like locking positions as well. With Indoraptor, it was kind of like, you can just do whatever. And I think they would, like I said, they were targeting just the more poseable aspect of it. So if you want to make like a stop motion movie with it, which is what some Indomation, I think it was called, uh, was made with this one in particular. So I like, th that's mainly its target audience. However, this one is more robust, it feels. Um, it's got more action, definitely. You've got the mouth. Yeah, I've got the, the happy, happy claws. 
DJ Scorpius on the decks for the cure. And then you've got the, the tail as well. You know, for whenever, I can't remember her name is, or whatever character you might want to just Shrek him. Winnie, just Shrek it. What does Shrek it mean? You don't get it. You have to Shrek it. There you go. Oh my God, it's going to work. Yes. 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 It is, it is a bit of a shame looking at the model now that they didn't paint the, the feet nails, like the, the sickle claw or the other toes, including the, uh, the claws on the hands. I think even if they just painted them black, which they probably would have been, um, it, it would have looked just a little bit nicer, uh, especially, and I didn't even notice the back of the, of the ankles for the Scorpius Rex. Um, it kind of, it's got claws at the back there as too. Sitting down has got to be right paid for this guy. Um, that could have been painted black. Uh, maybe, maybe even a little dot of white for the eye just to make it pop a little bit. Although saying that, I don't even think, you know, Indoraptor didn't even have that. So maybe I'm asking a little bit too much, but there's always room for improvement. And I don't think they could have done anything like, like, if they tried to, well, sorry, yes. If they tried to take the um, the poisonous barbs or the spikes off it, like maybe it could have detached. He's just asking for choking hazards for kids. So I really think there's only so much they could have done with them. And that's quite nice. There you go. That's how it should have really ended in that scene. He should have had her in him and then went, ah, a Gucci Gucci Goo, a Gucci Gucci Goo. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Um, I think it's it's a pretty decent dinosaur sculpt. And there's a lot of action features. And this, I think, is now available depending on where you are in the world and what kind of, I don't know, shops have it or even are still open. God knows with the way the world is at the moment. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more kind of toy unboxings, I've actually got the setup now. So maybe <laughs> we can. And any suggestions to make it better, like anything leave it in the comments down below and i will ignore every last one of them and until next time i'll see you cuties later bye bye perfect no one will ever know where she is <laughs> it looks like something from looney tunes <laughs>